welcome to the next video in the metal machining series. Here we're going to be looking at machined surface finishes. Surface finish introduction. Each manufacturing process, such as the many kinds of machining, produces a surface texture. The process is usually optimized to ensure that the resulting texture is usable. If necessary, an additional process will be added to modify the initial texture. Surface roughness, commonly shortened to roughness, is a measure of the total spaced surface irregularities. In engineering, this is what is usually meant by surface finish. A lower number constitutes less of these irregularities on the surface. Surface finish terminology. Surface finish is a measure of the overall texture of a surface that is characterized by the lay, surface roughness, and waviness of the surface. Surface finish, when it is intended to include all three characteristics, is often called surface texture to avoid confusion, since machinists often refer to surface roughness as surface finish. Another term often used is surface topology, this diagram gives an idea of how to think of the relationship of waviness, lay, and roughness. Here we see the waviness, this is the roughness, and you can see the lay direction. Continuing on with some of the terminology, let's have a look at a lay in more detail. So the lay is the direction of the predominant surface pattern and is usually determined by the production method used to produce the surface. Here are some of the typical lay patterns. At the top, we can see vertical and horizontal. In the center, we have radial and cross-hatched. And at the bottom, we have circular and isotropic. Surface roughness speaks of fine detail imperfections, but there may also be much coarser irregularities. For example, a surface may be warped or deflected from the ideal. Measuring surface finish. Surface finish may be measured in two ways, contact and non-contact methods. Contact methods involve dragging a measurement stylus across the surface. These instruments are called profilometers. You can see an example of that on the right here. A non-contact method includes intraferometry, confocal microscopy, focus variation, structured light, electrical capacitance, electron microscopy, atomic force microscopy, and photogrammetry. Surface finishes vary tremendously by the manufacturing process used to achieve them. A flame cut plate edge has a radically different surface finish than a ground surface for example. Choosing a process that is capable of achieving the desired surface finish is the first step in figuring out how to manufacture a part that requires a particular finish. Sometimes more than one process must be overlaid to achieve the desired result cost-effectively. This chart table shows the relative surface finish roughness of various manufacturing processes. Let's take milling for example. This has an RA of 6.3 down to 0 0.8. Whereas grinding has a surface finish RA of 1.6 down to 0 0.1 for example. So we mentioned RA in the previous slide. So what is RA? The mean roughness or roughness average is the arithmetic average of the absolute values of the roughness profile ordinates. RA is one of the most effective surface roughness measures commonly adapted in general engineering practice. It gives a good general description of the height variations in the surface. The units of RA are micrometers and micro-inches. 
you can see an example of how RA is worked out over here. Comparators. So surface finish comparators. Surface finish comparators are tools that quantify the surface quality of a material that has undergone machining and surface finishing processes. Comparators include a value index to compare substrates relative to each other. You can see a good example on the right here. They are often supplied as plates made of electroplated nickel. An engineer visually examines and scratches their fingernail across sections of the comparator and the workpiece, trying to find the most accurate mimic. Cost of achieving a surface finish. The better the surface finish required, the more it costs to achieve that desired finish. Therefore, when specifying a surface finish on your products, make sure you understand the implications of what you're asking for. This chart on the right here gives us a comparison of the machining cost percentage wise versus the machining process and the RA value. Let's take the RA in micro inches at the bottom, for example, and look at rough turning or milling. So the RA value there is 500 and a cost relative to as cast or sawn, for example, is say 60%. Whereas grinding has an RA value of 32, which is a lot finer, but the cost comparison is something like 280% greater than the as cast or sawn product. In the next video, we're going to be looking at dimensional control of metal parts with a lean approach. A very common issue for metal machining shops is dimensions out of specifications. And it comes down to poor dimensional control. It is quite common in China and creates all sorts of issues, quality of course, but also lower productivity. For example, assembly is much harder. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series and you can contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Oh, and you see this little bell symbol? Make sure you hit that because that will give you a notification each time we upload new content. Thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams from Softeast, and I shall see you in the next video.